In this video, we will be taking a look at Minitools Partition Wizard Pro. While this review will cover the Pro version, many of the features discussed can be found in the free version. You will find a link to a product comparison chart and a download link in this video's description. Before we dive in, please note that this is not a sponsored video and no payment has been received. I was given a free Pro license so that I can fully evaluate the program. This was on the understanding that the review will be unbiased and may contain negative content. With this out of the way, let's get started. Let's take a look at the program's features. If you're interested in a particular feature, you can jump to it using this video's chapters. It is important to note that with any disk management tool, a full disk backup should be made prior to making any changes. Additionally, it is best to have an uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, connected to your PC as a power outage during disk restructuring can cause data corruption. When you first run this program, you will be presented with an overview of your installed hard drives and external devices. There is a menu located on the left side of the screen showing the available wizards and functionality of the software. There are also options shown on a graphical menu near the top of the screen. Let's take a quick look at all of the options in turn. In today's world, many people choose to move their computer's operating system to an SSD in order to benefit from its speedy performance or replace an older drive with one of a larger capacity. This operation is made a lot simpler by using the Migrate OS to SSD HD wizard. This wizard gives you the option to replace your system disk with another hard disk or to copy the operating system to another disk and keep the original hard disk in your computer. As with all of the wizards, simply follow the on-screen instructions in order to complete the task. If you look at the bottom of this screen, you will see a context-sensitive link to the program's comprehensive online help system. For more information on the screen you are on, simply click the link to view the help. As you can see from this sample, the help system is well-structured and easy to follow. Now let's take a brief look at the other three wizards. The Copy Partition wizard can be used to back up all the files in the user-selected partition. This can be a great time saver when it comes to keeping your data safe. As I mentioned earlier, simply follow the on-screen instructions and this will guide you through this process. The Copy Disk Wizard can be used when you wish to back up a disk or replace your old disk with a new one. Partitions can be inadvertently deleted, subject to a virus attack or corrupted by power outages, to name but a few reasons. Using the Partition Recovery Wizard can recover a deleted or corrupted partition. Now let's take a look at the Convert GPT Disk to MBR Disk option. Clicking on this option may produce this warning. This is to ensure that you don't do something which you may regret later. Ah, if only life was like this. Click OK and you will be taken to this screen. At the bottom left corner of the screen you will see two options, Apply and Undo. These two options are common on most screens. This gives you the opportunity to change your mind about applying changes or to apply them. In this case, I will be selecting Undo. Next we have the Wipe Disk option. Selecting this will give you some security options. The first two options offer the fastest solution for wiping a hard disk. If you work for a company or store sensitive data on your computer, you may wish to opt for one of the more secure options. It is worth noting that all SSDs have a limited number of write cycles, so using multiple passes may reduce its lifespan. To delete all of the partitions on the selected drive, click on the Delete All Partitions option and confirm the deletion. When creating partitions on hard disks that use 4K physical sectors, the partition often does not begin at the boundary of a physical sector. This misalignment causes clusters and physical sectors to be offset. Consequently, reading a single cluster can involve accessing two physical sectors, leading to longer access times and slower read speeds. Similarly, writing data to one cluster may require operating on two physical sectors, resulting in increased write operations and inefficient use of disk space. Therefore, proper 4K alignment is essential. For more information on this subject, check out the link in this video's description. In this case, alignment isn't necessary. The Surface Test Feature This scan will reveal if your chosen hard drive has bad sectors. Upon completion of the scan, Good sectors will be marked in green and bad sectors will be marked in red. Bad sector issues should be fixed as soon as possible as they can reduce the performance of your computer. This is an example of a disk scan which has no bad sectors. For more information see the link in this video's description. 
moving the scroll bar down will reveal some additional menu options. Disc Properties. This option will display a dialog box containing the selected disc's properties. Data Recovery. This tool is only available in versions Pro Platinum and above. Here is a screenshot of the results produced by the Data Recovery tool. This screenshot was taken from the Partition Wizard's website as the scan is very thorough and takes some time to complete. As can be seen here, lost partitions and raw files have been detected. A detailed explanation of this utility can be found by following the link in this video's description. It is worth noting that these and other options can be selected by right-clicking on the desired drive or partition, as can be seen here. There are three additional utilities available from the top menu, namely Disk Benchmark, Space Analyzer and the Bootable Media Creator. Let's take a look at these in turn. The Disk Benchmark Tool. A disk benchmarking tool is frequently employed to gauge the performance of any manufacturer's RAID controllers, storage controllers, hard drives and SSDs. Here the disk benchmarking process is simplified, making it easy to carry out these tests. To start the tests, click on the disk benchmark image, select the drive you wish to benchmark, then click start. For example, here are the results of my C drive bench tests which were completed earlier. I particularly like the graphical representation of the results. Space Analyzer. Selecting the Space Analyzer will take you to a disk selection screen. Select the drive you wish to have analysed, then click the Scan button. Here is the output I received from a scan I performed earlier. The Hard Drive Analyzer allows users to gain a clearer understanding of a drive's space usage. It's particularly useful for disk cleanup when the drive is full and for locating large files if the partition wizard cannot convert NTFS to FAT. After analysing the drive and directories, Space Analyzer highlights which files and folders take up the most space. Users can then browse through those files directly in Space Analyzer and remove any unnecessary items or applications. The bootable media option, or as it is sometimes referred to, Media Builder, is designed to create, as the name suggests, media from which your computer can be booted. This option is available in all but the free edition. Before we get started, what is bootable media used for? Bootable media is typically used to start or boot a computer into a specialised environment without relying on the installed operating system. Common purposes include operating system installation, installing or reinstalling an OS, system recovery and repair, running diagnostic tools or repairing corrupt system files if the primary OS fails to load, data recovery, accessing and backing up important files from a non-bootable or malfunctioning system, disk management and maintenance, partitioning, formatting or cloning a drive when the OS is unavailable. Virus removal. Scanning and removing malicious software from a secure, isolated environment. To create the media, click on the bootable media icon. For my test, I then selected the options option. Next, I clicked on the detect drivers button. This correctly selected the required drivers for my computer. I clicked next, then I chose the ISO file option, gave the file a name and clicked save. After around one minute, my ISO file was created and ready to burn to DVD. We have taken a look at some of the main features of Minitool Partition Wizard, but there is much more to this program that time did not permit me to cover here. If you are not sure if this program is for you, download the free version and have a play around with it. There is a download link in this video's description. Conclusion there is no doubt in my mind that Partition Wizard is a fully featured disk management tool. I experimented with some of the program's features on an old Windows 10 computer and it worked flawlessly. The free version is a very capable product, but if you need a paid version, it is a little bit pricey. That said, if you need the additional features, it is well worth the money. After all, what price can one put on the recovery of lost data? I noticed on Minitool's website that this product is billed as an alternative to Partition Magic. Well, it certainly is a worthy competitor, and having used both, I must say that I prefer the interface and the ease of use of Minitool Partition Wizard. If you know of any products which you would like to see reviewed, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe, as it will really help the channel to grow. And please do feel free to leave a comment, as I take the time to read all posted comments. Stay safe, and I will see you soon.